Let's consider the scenario in which you have a contact information in your app with a phone number. Instead of copying and pasting the number in the messaging app to send a text, wouldn't it be easier to provide your app users with a button that will allow them to launch the messaging app with the phone number directly from your app? That's what we are going to learn today. So at the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of how to open the messaging app directly from your app using the URL launcher package. I will also show at the end of the video some special configurations that you want to add to your app to avoid some common errors, especially if your app targets the latest versions of Android and iOS. As always, the first thing we need to do is to install the URL launcher package. For that, we just need to go to the pub.dev website and copy this command from the installing tab. Now, let's head to our terminal and execute the command. This will add the URL launcher package to our pubspec.yaml file. Now, we are ready to start implementing the code for the button that will launch the messaging app. For that, we will go to this section of the code in the unpressed call back of the elevated button for the SMS. And for the purpose of this video, let's consider that this is the number that you would like to text. Now, the first thing you need to do is to create a URI from the phone number string. For that, we can use the URI constructor, which take a scheme, SMS, and a path, the phone number. Once we have the URI, we can use the launch URL method and pass in the newly created URI as a parameter. To avoid your app crashing when this action cannot be performed, it is recommended to use the can launch URL method to check if the URI can be launched before actually launching it. Now, let's test it by running the app on a device with an Android version earlier than 11. I'll explain why this limitation in a minute. So if we click on this button, it will launch the default messaging app with the number that we used to create the URI. Now, I want to draw your attention to the fact that we are using the launch URL method that takes a URI as parameter and not the launch method that takes a string as parameter. The launch method that we used to use before is deprecated since version 6.1 of the URL launcher package. The same thing applies to can launch URL and can launch methods. Now, if we select an emulator with an Android version 11 or higher and run the app, when we click on the SMS button, nothing will happen. This is because if your app targets Android 11 or higher, iOS 9 or later, you need to add these configurations in the info.plist for iOS and those query oriented in the manifest.xml for Android. Let's add those configurations now. For Android, we will go to Android, App, SRC, Main, then Android manifest.xml, and paste those lines here at the bottom. For iOS, we will go to the iOS folder, runner, info.plist, and paste those lines here at the bottom. Now, let's stop the app and run it again. As you can see, even though we are using a recent version of Android, when we click on the SMS button, it will launch the messaging app. In the same way, if we run it on iOS, it will open the messaging app with the selected phone number. Note that you will need a physical device to test it on iOS. Another thing to keep in mind is that sometimes the can launch URL method may return false even though the launch URL would actually work. Therefore, when a fallback behavior is available, it's recommended that you use launch URL directly and handle any potential failures with a try catch block like in this example here. That was all for this quick flutter tip. There are many more tips like this coming up. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and activate the notification bell to be notified.